Welcome once again to yet another segment, to yet another encounter, to yet another dimension representing in the word of God, representing the realms. And welcome once again to yet another presentation inside the word of God. As usual, every week is loaded with yet another masterpiece. Another week comes by and another week follows and this is another week once again where we get to hear what the Holy Spirit is in store for us and what the Revelator is about to utter, to deliver to God's people under the influence of the Holy Spirit. It is never by my will. It will never be my will. It did be my will. I would be out there in the world doing business, just like many others. Some of you, you don't know that before I came to this platform, before I came to this realm, I've done quite a number of things as an entrepreneur in the world. Even went as far as leaving this country for more than two years. Trading. But when the calling gets louder and louder day by day, you are positioned by the Holy Spirit. So it will never be my will, but the will of the Holy Spirit. Today, we want to enter into a warfare. And I know that this is a warfare before it even begins. I knew that this was going to be a warfare before this very day. And I know that the Holy Spirit has allowed me to prepare and to present <coughs> this presentation beforehand. Why? Because it is a crucial presentation. It is a, a decider. It is a determination. Now, I want to present one of the deepest exposures that exposes the kingdom of darkness. I know that we have come with quite a number of exposures in the past. We came with a different diversities of exposures that expose the kingdom of darkness. But today, I want to expose something which the Holy Spirit told me that it is the heart of the kingdom of darkness. It is the heart. It is the heart that pumps blood. It pumps life into the veins of the kingdom of darkness. And I'm here to expose the lost city, the lost kingdom of Bermuda Triangle. I know, before I even go any further, is that before I even present this, a lot of people were on Google. That's what people do. Wanting to check what is Bermuda Triangle all about. We don't rely on that information. We don't rely on that information. We have even, we have even known that there are people that had to sail through boats, people that had to come down with ropes from planes wanting to investigate about a place that is called the Bermuda Triangle. But I'm going to be revealing what really is Bermuda Triangle, not according to false scientific knowledge, not according to practical theoretical knowledge, not according 
to the assumptions of men, but according to the revelation inside that is going to be inspired by the Holy Spirit. You cannot visit the motor triangle in the physical. Anyone that is ever talked about visiting the motor triangle in the physical is confused. This is why I'm saying don't rely on cook. You cannot visit the motor triangle in the physical. The motor triangle does not have a physical location, even though it might have a spiritual location, even though it might have a physical operation that is represented by a spiritual operation, a physical operation that is represented by a spiritual operation, Bermuda Triangle is in the realms of darkness. So I'm going to be exploding more about the Bermuda Triangle, but as usual, I have to usher you into scripture reference so that we understand not just the Bermuda Triangle, but the foundations of Bermuda Triangle the depth of the inspiration of Bermuda Triangle, its influence under the kingdom of darkness. What really is Bermuda Triangle? But before you even get there, you know that the revelator does a merry go around when he's preaching. I'll take you into the book of Revelations chapter 12. Let's go to the book of Revelations chapter 12. I believe everyone is now there. Those that love the word of God, they are already there. And those that don't love the word of God, they are just scrolling other things on their mobile phones. Revelation chapter 12, verse 1. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet. The woman representing a tribe, the woman representing a different uh, representations of generations, loins, and the tribes, tribes that are already here on earth. If I'm to explain about this woman, I can go the whole day so that you understand that this was not just a woman. How this woman is the one that brought forth the man child. How this woman is the same woman that is explained in the book of Genesis representing the place of Eve. How no regeneration would have happened without a woman. How the devil started his war against the woman. Why? Because he was against the offspring that was going to be made manifest by the woman. He was against the loins that were going to come out to the woman. So, a woman represents reproduction so you don't just produce into a woman so that she becomes less productive you produce in a woman so that she becomes a reproduction and you, if you find producing into a woman is vulgar then you still need to grow up now and she being with the child cried travailing birth and pain to be delivered. And there appeared another one in heaven, and behold, a great red dragon with the seven heads and ten horns. This great red dragon, I'm going to talk about it later on. But I'm also going to introduce what is this great red dragon. It is none other than one of the princes. One of the princes. I want you to know that there are seven princes, and these seven princes, they represented the kingdom of darkness. But these seven princes represented the kingdom of darkness, and these seven princes, they represent seven evils. Seven evils that represent the operations of the devil, and this dragon, it's a prince itself, which is being defined as a dragon, but that dragon being defined as a prince is one of the devils, which is none other than 
Lucifer the devil, that serpent of old, who is also defined as a dragon. And why is he is also being defined as a dragon? He is also being defined as a serpent. Why is he also being defined as a serpent? He is being defined as the devil. Why is he being defined as the devil? He is being defined as Satan. If you bring all these, they form the seven princes of the kingdom of darkness. Now, and this great dragon had seven crowns upon his head. Seven crowns representing the seven princes. So these seven princes, they've got departments in the kingdom of darkness. But Leviathan, Leviathan, whichever way you want to pronounce it, Leviathan or Leviathan is one of the princes who represents the sea. I'm going to get to that part. Leviathan represents the sea. The sea. The dragon of the sea. The beast of the sea. Now, and his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven. The tail that drew the third part of, of the stars in heaven, it was Lucifer. The deception of the tail. This dragon is representing the seven princes. But in those seven princes, there are seven representatives of princes that represent the kingdom of darkness. And one of the princes there is Leviathan. I, I know why I'm focusing more on Leviathan. Why? Because he's not amongst the three main devils. He's not, but he's the forerunner of the three devils from the kingdom of the sea. Like I said, I'm going to get to this Leviathan. And this tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven, which are the other angels, and did cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman, which was ready to be delivered, for to devour a child as soon as it was born. This woman also can be represented by men who was ready to give birth to the main child, who is Jesus, who is Jesus. But Mary had to be pursued again by Herod, and Herod represents the dragon. This woman can be represented by Eve, who was about to be the mother of all, but was pursued by the serpent. So it's either the serpent or the dragon, but it's amongst the those seven princes. I explain this in the war of the dragon against the woman. Now, and she brought forth the man child who was to rule all nations with the rod of iron. And she brought forth the man child who was to rule all nations by rod, who ruled the, the a nation with the rod of it was none other than Moses. I know that some of you would want to say it is Jesus. It's also a perfect answer because Jesus is greater than them all. But it, this was Moses. Now let's see if we can get evidence that this was Moses who was to rule with the rod. And she brought forth the man child who was to rule all nations with the rod of iron. And the child was caught up unto God and to his throne. The child was caught up unto God and his throne. Who is that child? It is none other than the chosen son. The one that is the greatest, who is none other than Jesus. So there are different representations of the main child. This is why you realize that Jesus came as who? As the second Adam. All the likes of Enoch who came as the seventh, they came magnifying or representing, representing or demonstrating the coming of Christ. Now, and there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. And the dragon fought and his angels and prevailed not, and neither was there a place found for any of these seven. And they are legions. It means there were seven princes that were leading. Are you kidding me? You only hear me about Lucifer, that Lucifer fell in heaven. But there were seven princes. There's something that I need to correct today. You have only heard about the devil. You have only heard about Lucifer. They keep giving you different names. But there were seven princes that were leading this movement. And there were seven princes that represented a committee. And they said, maybe, I'll just say Lucifer, because Lucifer was the one that was gifted more in the area of deception. They said Lucifer will play this role, convince the other angels. And we know that they are going to listen to you. And Lucifer played his part. And when Lucifer played his part, the seven princes, they fell with the legion of angels. 
The seven princes, they fell with the legion of angels. And when the seven princes fell with the legion of angels, they went and formed seven kingdoms. They went and formed seven kingdoms. And those seven kingdoms, they are represented by seven realms. But if there is a kingdom that fell into the oceans, I'm going to get to that kingdom. After, after some demons fell on mountains, other demons, they fell in the streets, other demons, they fell in the bush, other demons, but there are demons that fell into the seas, into the oceans. And they fell with one of the princes. I'm going to get to that part, which is the emphasis of today's presentation. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels, Michael also, also ate his other six delegates that were fighting helping him to fight these seven princes and the legions of angels that fell and later became demons. And there was neither a place found anymore in heaven for this. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan. The devil and the devil and I know that you have got people that are educated here. The devil and Satan. How many of you grew up thinking that the devil is Satan? <laughs> they wanted to make you believe it is one. Yes, there is nothing wrong with that. But they did not clarify to you that these devils have different operations of Eve. After the devil and Satan, after Lucifer and the devil and Satan, which, which were the main three, these main three were representing the three realms that I'm going to touch on, which are the three realms where we are going to be warring in the realms. And after the devil, Lucifer, and Satan fell, they went and formed the three realms under the sea, which is the center, which is the headquarters, the headquarters of evil. There is no military that does not have a base. There is no nation uh, that does not have its stronghold. Even when a nation uh, gets into a war, you realize that the military is defending its what? Its base. And you are going to be attacking that base today. Don't look at the numbers of the people that are kind of. Look at the numbers of, of, of the beings that you cannot see. Those that rally behind the revelator, how many are they in the realms? Don't look at those that rally behind the revelator and the visitor. Otherwise, you look at sleepy faces. Yes, I'm telling you. Indeed, you look at such faces and get and get misled. And I heard a loud voice in heaven saying, Now has come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. The accuser of our brethren. Meaning that the accuser of our brethren is a department of, is a, department of a certain devil amongst the seven princes. All these are departments of devils. This is why the devil manifested more than seven times from the house of prayer, I would come to you and say, the seven, the sixth they return. The seventh they return. We were dealing with the different devils and the last manifestation of the devil, even when I was driving him out, I was driving out multiple entities of spirits representing different characters of evil inside one vessel. This is why the devil has deceived them. Why? Because we've got people that say the devil does this and that. The devil does not do this. The moment you do that, and you want to think the devil behaves like your uncle. You know that your uncle every Sunday maybe is very bored. Or you know that your uncle on Saturday is, is happy because you, you would have sipped a little bit of bread. The devil will never behave like your uncle. He has got seven different characters. He can appear very evil. He can appear very charming. 
he can appear very influential and motivational. He can appear very aggressive. He can appear in different categories of inspirations that are negative, yet deceptive, yet cunning. There are so many representations. It's a presentation, it's a presentation on its own. And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the weight of their testimony. Who are these? It is us. We overcame him, not by our strength. You think you can just war against the Bermuda because of your knowledge? No. You can't. You need the blood, you need the covering. You need the assistance. You need the delegation of heaven. You need the reinforcement of the angelic beings from the seven realms of heaven. You need the blood itself. You need to be blameless again. You don't just wake up after fornicating yesterday. You say, tomorrow I'm bombing Bermuda. <laughs> You're fornicating yesterday with an agent from Bermuda. And we are standing on the pulpit. I was told by one of my disciples, but she's not local here. And she was saying there is a, there is a man of God who stood on the pulpit and he declared to war against the man. And the next day he woke up dead. God is not going to defend you if you try to engage into beggars that are not at your name. Accepting defeat sometimes does not mean you are unwise. Yes. Should accept that this is not my life of pain. Why do you think I found it with? It's wisdom. You join forces. You join forces. And when you join forces, you create a force. United Nations peacekeeping forces is all about forces that have joined. And you will see how our will join forces today. I've got that power. Where do I get the power? I'm one of the commanders. So I, I am able to, 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 to just tell the other seven commanders in the realms that represent the kingdom of light. That you have got the whole today, we have to go and bomb Bermuda. I'm going to join forces. They know right now in Bermuda. They know that there is war today. As much as I'm the revelator, I will never have pride to the level that I can go to Bermuda on my own. I will not come back. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be waiting for the revelator to come back. Eh? You'll be waiting. Our man is coming back. And God will, will talk to one of you and say, Oh, send your mate to the own his own. And you say, This is the devil talking to me. You need to back up. Don't ever let, let anyone lie to you. You need to back up. Yes, I'm going to be someone in my mind. He's one of the backup. Not, not only my mind, I'm going to be someone in the seven princes. And we go there. You don't enter through the triangle. You think it's a game? It's not a game. Now, and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the weight of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto death. And they loved not their lives unto death. That's a deep scripture, that one. They loved not their lives. Meaning that the way they lived. When you do, you when you do look at the way they, they, they live, you would say, why are they suppressing themselves like this? Why do they live a life that is lonely like this? Always caging themselves restricting themselves to live a normal life. That's how they lived their life. They did not love their life. What is love in your life? Going to Hawaii, Chipangai, going to the zoo, snapping photos, sleeping at the lodge. That is love in your life. You see, you're now looking at me with a sad face. Because you're planning a trip at the end of the year. Right. 
And they love not their lives unto death. Therefore rejoice you heavens and ye that dwell in them. What to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea? Let's go to Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. Therefore rejoice you heavens. That is round number one. And you that dwell on earth and the inhabitants of the sea. Who are the inhabitants of the sea? We are the inhabitants of the sea. You didn't know that. I want to take you to the book of Genesis because it's going to take us time. But if I take you to the book of Genesis, you are going to learn that everything, most of everything that is around us, which is nature, it came from the sea. The birds came from the sea. And God the whales, not just the whales, most of the creation, it came from the sea. And it is just a few that few creatures that came from the ground. But most of the creation came from the sea. This whole earth was covered by water. This whole earth. After God separated the waters above and the waters beneath. And everything that you can ever imagine, even when, when the fallen angels had fell, this whole gate was covered by the sea. So, these demons that operate in the dry land, they started operating in the dry land after God then separated the dry land and the sea. And the devils also started categorizing, saying, now that God has separated the land and the sea, you now can go and operate in the land. You now can go and operate the demons, they actually know departments than Christians. That all wanted to be on one microphone. I also have a good voice. I also have a good voice. She thinks she's better than me. She thinks that she's better than me. You see? So, I'm saying there are things that you need to be given knowledge by the Holy Spirit so that we understand how the devil operates, how these devils operate. Therefore rejoice you heavens and you that dwell in them. What to the inhabitants, the, uh, those that inhabit the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, and he knows that he is a short time. Revelation chapter 12, verse 13. And when the dragon saw that he was cast out unto the earth, he persecuted the woman which brought forth the main child. He persecuted the woman. Which woman? Eve. He manifested unto Eve as the serpent, but it was the dragon. He started persecuting the woman. This is why we never hear of Adam having problems. Up until Eve was introduced, that's when the serpent then came, wanting to deceive Eve. And when the dragon saw that he was cast unto the earth, he persecuted the woman which brought forth the man child. He persecuted also men in the New Testament. That's why he made it to flee from one city to the other. That's why he not even killed the children. Persecuting the woman. And the woman was given two weeks, two wings of a great eagle. The woman was given two wings of a great eagle. Not two wings of a bait. No. Not to two wings of an owl, no. Two wings of an eagle. The eagle that is be behind me. This is why it's not an owl that is behind me. An eagle. So if you find any preacher that says he always got an owl, just know. Just know. Even if he tries to open scripture, don't listen. An owl and a bitch, I will never spare those two creatures. Those are two creatures of the adult. Yes, they were created by God, but they are part of the body. And to the woman who had given two wings of a great eagle, that she might fly into the wilderness, into a place where she is nourished for a time and a time and a half. And the serpent was cast out of his mouth. And the serpent cast out of his mouth water is flat. Why? She cast out of her mouth water is flat. Do you know why? Because this was the trap one. This is where the dragon is active. And where is this dragon active? 
This dragon is one of the princes which is called Leviathan, one of the seven princes. And this is one of these seven princes who is from the sea, who operates with the Leviathan, is the queen. And this queen has a throne under the sea. She is the one that is in charge. And the Leviathan is a prince. This is why you realize that in a nation, you have got the minister of what? Of defense. And you have got the defense command. So Leviathan is like the minister. The prince that is the minister of the realm of the sea. And the queen is the one that is the defense commander in chief of the sea. Have given you their rules. Leviathan is also the beast of the sea. Though he is defined as one of the princes. And what does Leviathan do? And the serpent cast out of his own water his blood after the woman, that he might cause her to be killed away of the flood. And the earth helped the woman, and the earth opened her mouth and swallowed up the flood. The earth helped the woman. Meaning that the woman was about to get swallowed by the flood. These are creatures from the sea. The sea that wanted to swallow the woman is still swallowing many. According to physical study, not spiritual revelation, you are allowed. This is allowed for any preacher, not to extract information. According to physical study, I hope you are listening to me. There are multiple cases of planes that have mysteriously disappeared in Bermuda time. Boats that disappeared. Loved ones that went there just to tour and they disappeared and they were never found. Planes that disappeared not because they were in the sea, no. Disappeared while it's crossing that. It means Bermuda Triangle is not just a, 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 a about the depth of the sea or the mysteries under the sea. But if you come into the zone, into the altitude, into the space, into the flying zone of Bermuda Triangle, Bermuda Triangle has got powers over that over those spaces before we even talk about the portal this is why planes have been swallowed this is why boats have been swallowed the titanic was swallowed the submarine it was swallowed there are many even that have drowned boats people that have whose lives have been taken it doesn't matter that you were swallowed at Kariba. But you appear away in Bermuda. Yes. Why? Because this is a beast that has got seven heads. So if it swallows you with one of the heads, which represents a certain sea, the womb is one. So the womb and the heart of the sea, the womb and the heart of the death is Bermuda Triangle. It is inspired by the seven princes, the seven devils. So, let's get back to scripture. And the earth helped the woman, and the earth opened her mouth and swallowed up the flood, and the dragon cast out, which the dragon cast out of his mouth. And the dragon was wrought with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of his seed. The dragon then went to make war with the remnant of the seed. Which seed? We are the seed. Which are still at war right now. The dragon, after the woman escaped, obviously the woman that was now being identified here was made who escaped with the main child, who is now the ruler of all nations now. Then the dragon said, I'm going to make war with your seed. And you are the seed of Christ. We are from the loins of Christ. Not only from the tribe of David, but from the root of the spiritual loins of Christ. Let's go to Revelation 18. 
I've given you the introduction. Oh, you call it a preface if it is a book. If you are one that goes to the preface, uh, unless you are one that rushes to chapter one. It all depends what kind of a book reader you are. But I know that if it is Mills and Boom, you go to the preface. Because you like it. Let's go to Revelation chapter 13, verse 1. And I stood upon the sand of the sea, sure, and saw a beast rise out of the sea. This beast that was rising out of the sea, it was none other than Leviathan. Leviathan is now in the sea. He has fallen, he has been defeated by angel Michael, the host of heaven, and the seven princes. They've defeated him. Now he is the stronghold of the sea. And John the Revelator has been teleported deep into the future, into this future. And he saw the dragon coming out of the sea. And as he came out of the sea, he was coming out of the sea through the portal of, of Bermuda Triangle. That is the portal where this, this beast is coming out of. And there are people, there are preachers, there are prophets, evangelists, that are still waiting to see that beast physically coming out of the sea. It's so unfortunate. I feel pity for anyone that likes the revelation because they are, you are going to set your cameras to see the beast. They are waiting for the beast that John said is going to come out of the sea. The beast is already come out of the sea. The process of the beast coming out of the sea it could be dispensations of operations of that beast. So Bermuda Triangle does not only operate in Bermuda Triangle. Bermuda Triangle has taken over regions, territories, nations, countries, and continents. This is why on album covers, you see the, the sign of the triangle. I don't even want to shape that sign. Or else I become one of them. Whenever they do their thing, the, 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 the Jamaicans, they shape that triangle. You have seen it. They are representing a city under the sea. A city which you have not visited physically. Anyone that has used a microscopy machine, anyone that has used a machine, anyone that has used a boat, a plane, anyone that has used anything physically, anything biological or scientific, with your knowledge of physics, wanting to investigate about the Bermuda, you are absent-minded. Says the Reverend. You are absent-minded. You thought I was going to have wise words for you. Uh, reputable words. You are absent minded. How can you want to investigate a kingdom that is spiritual in the physical? You can only go to Bermuda in the spirit. Just like I'm going to be teleporting some of you there. And you don't go there alone. You go with a total backup. Backup. Backup plan. The beast that came out of the sea. It represents Leviathan and Leviathan, which is the dragon, serpent. It is a dragon with the serpent heads. It is a dragon that represents the strongholds of the sea. There are also princes that represent the sea. And the, and the only one that corresponds with the Leviathan is the queen. The queen sits on her throne doing her makeup. The, the queen sits on her throne. She calls the shots. She, she delegates demonic operations. She's in charge of the mermaids in that kingdom. The queen sits on her throne. The only one that has got power to command the queen is Lucifer the devil and Satan. So, the beast that is being seen by John the Revelator coming out of a portal of the sea, it was coming out of the portal of the Bermuda Triangle. And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, and his feet were like that of a bear, and his mouth was like the mouth of a lion, and the dragon gave him his power. You see, all these creatures, every creature that did not fall. Is, is because those creatures, they remained representing the kingdom of heaven. And there are creatures that fell. Every creature, listen to me, listen to me. And there are creatures uh, that represent the kingdom of light, that also represent the kingdom of darkness. And there are creatures 
that are chosen in the kingdom of darkness, like the beds. I gave an example, a bed and an owl. You don't need to be told by your neighbor that I don't like kids. By just looking at a kid, by just looking at a kid, you can tell that this creature is one of the following. A cat, a snake, a bat, those that go to the zoo and they like playing around with snakes. And they think it is just having fun. And they, and they start saying you have a religious mind. Leave me with my religious mind. I don't like a snake. I will never like it. Even at the zoo, I don't like a snake. Even if you remove his teeth and say it is harmless, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. Even, even if you bring me a snake with many colors and say, look, look at this snake. Yeah, the, the white people rubbing his back, it's cute. It's cute for you, <laughs> not me. If you leave me the snake, I'll step on it. A snake in the zoo, I'll kill it and get arrested. I'll kill that snake. At the zoo, at the museum, I'll kill that snake. I don't like a snake. So leave me with, a, with my religious mentality. I don't like a snake. There were doves at the zoo. You didn't like the doves. You wanted to play with the snake. Why? This is it means there's a serpent spirit in you, which is which is giving you the action. Go to that snake. There are doves, white doves, beautiful doves. You don't like them. You will like a snake. Why? And I saw one of his heads as it was wounded, wounded from which back? From the realms of battles that happened in the heavenly places when the dragon was warring with the angel Michael. And they worshipped the dragon which gave power unto the beast. And they worshipped the beast, saying, Who is like unto the beast? And who is able to make war with him? Up to today, Bermuda trying has, has never lost a bit. This is why you have records of those that were swallowed by the water tribe. Yes. It is, it is now the most scariest place. It is now the most mysterious place. And they have made movies trying to just discover, trying to dig deeper, trying to analyze, but they are not coming out with the revelation of what is really the mystery about that place. Do you know why? Is because they are looking for answers in the physical. They don't want the church to do its job. They don't want the remnants. They don't want to give the remnants a platform. The scientists are kind of, they are not spiritual. The artists are busy typing things that they don't know. They know nothing about it. We know better about their kingdom. Yet you are of the kingdom. We know better about their kingdom. Why do we know better about their kingdom more than them? It's because our God in heaven is the one that created all kingdoms. So we know better about their kingdom. How do you feel when I tell you that I know better about everything in your home? <laughs> Especially if you are a man, how do you feel? I know everything about your home. I know about you, that cupboard. I know about you, that spoon. Where am I going? I <laughs> in the end of the day, when a man says, I know everything about you, <laughs> in and out, just, just being told that by another man will give you sleepless nights. I know everything about you and your family in and out. You will have sleepless nights. So, we know everything about the Bermuda Triangle. It's not the first time that I'm exposing Bermuda Triangle. Do you know that? It's not. But today I'm going at length. Why? Because we explored in different manifestations and dimensions of deep exposures from the realms of the kingdom of light. And there was given unto him mouth speaking great things and blasphemies. Preachers are being initiated by the Mutter Triangle. This most of those preachers, listen to me, 
You have read books. Watch the documentaries of preachers that say, I had a dream, I was in hell. Ah, that place is scary. Some of them, they did not go there. Why is they were being sent by God? They were actually sent, they were actually drawn there by the motor train. And then they come back and you say, this man of God, I'm telling you, he went to hell. He went there to be initiated. He's actually telling you I was there. And you're coming in. Yes. How do we know that the one is going there through investigation? It's like today I have planted. How do we know you went there by coincidence through initiation? You just woke up screaming and we asked you what is happening. You say I was in here. That was not part of your plan. When you went to sleep, you wanted to dream of heaven. And then you woke up in hell. And you don't even know what you're doing there. And then you come here and say, I have a mighty calling. I'm highly called. I was in hell. You wanted them to be initiated. Come to the ascension. We'll disconnect here. Stop that nonsense. Right, you're preaching. Hell, how many preachers that have preached? I went to hell. And, and they've actually formed the ministries because of that. I went to hell. December 19. 97, it was 8 o'clock. I was feeling sleepy. And the people, the church will be paying attention. And immediately I fall into a trance. You see? You enjoy it. Because he is explaining your story. None of you have ever went to that preacher and say, Can you go back to that hill? Can you take us there? So that you see. They don't want that. Because they did not go there willingly. They did not go. I think people get what I'm saying. If you want to, if you know, listen to me, if you have got the power and authority over a place, you can go there any time that you want. All these preachers, where it's saying the beast was given a great amount to speak blasphemies. Not just preachers, musicians from Bermuda Triangle, actors from Bermuda Triangle. All these rappers that are rapping, they rap about the devil. They rap even about the Bermuda Triangle. They show you the triangle signs. But what does the world do? They continue following them. Because, they, because it's written in the scripture, and the whole world marveled after the beast from Bermuda Triangle, who is Leviathan. These are operations of the marine kingdom. And the operations of the marine kingdom, its base is in Bermuda Triangle. And Bermuda Triangle is not a physical location. I've said this, I'm going to repeat this. I know that you are going to look, you are going to search, or they are going to search on their Google map. Is what he's preaching to. Let's see. Google map. Mobile phone. Physical. Gadget. They're looking for Bermuda Triangle. Do you know that every place in hell has got an address on it? I remember a certain disciple when she was now going back where she was. And the demon, the married demon said, she's now going back to hell. It knew that the location, it is represented by a place in hell. There are locations here on earth that are represented by places in hell. There are locations here on earth that are represented by the motor triangle. There are locations here on earth that are represented by places that are strongholds of marines under the sea. You don't go to war in the realms without this information. All those people that have been swallowed underneath the water and they never came back. All those people. They were overpowered by that kingdom. But we are the mercenaries. We are the assassins. We invent territories. If we don't invent territories, then we are not assassins. We are not in the church. Do you know what the church is waiting for? A church is a bunch of people whom you find who will be rolling on the floor crying unto the Lord. Oh Lord, help us. Have mercy on us. Oh Jesus. 
You know that I'm the last one. <laughs> yes. They say all sorts of things. We don't have that time. We are here to move. Many celebrities are from Bermuda Triangle. They are from the sea. Their souls have been captured by the underworld. When you enter through the portal of Bermuda Triangle, you enter through the portal. There's a portal. And that portal is not physical again. Why? Because there are people that are still looking for that portal. They will not find it. The portal is not physical. Even if you find a portal, I remember one, of course, in certain spiritual circumstances, there are physical and uh, also practicalities that can manifest from the spirit realm to the physical world. I remember a disciple who was coming from Kariba. She came on the night of angels and I prayed for her. But before she came, she said, my, my son drowned. And before she could even speak any further, I said, your son drowned because she was swallowed by the Malinke. And when I told her that, that she said, the people that were there, they said that they saw the waters stealing. You see what happens when you steal your tea with a spoon and you leave it. The waters were doing like that. Where her son had drowned. That was Bermuda train swallowing. But in another location. So Bermuda Triangle has got different portals and it has got one main portal. It, in, here on earth, in all the seas that you can think of, be it the uh, Atlantic, Red Sea, what, whatever, Indian Ocean, it has got seven portals only. And it has got one main portal. One main portal. All those portals are spiritual. But they can manifest as physical locations. You can be swallowed by the Atlantic. You can be swallowed by the Indian Ocean. But the bottom line is that you've been swallowed by Bermuda Triangle. So, there are many activities on this tri and that are being influenced by Bermuda Triangle. People that are being influenced by Bermuda Triangle, they are here on the earth and they want to go to a location to investigate about a place that does not exist in the physical, to investigate about a place that is in the spirit realms of darkness and that place is controlling them in the physical. Yes. You will not locate Bermuda Triangle physical. I have repeated that I don't know how many times in this presentation. You go and Google, I can allow you on this one. All those that are researching about the motor drive, they are looking for it in the physical. It's called misleading information. This is why I don't endorse Google. Even AI. AI that has got the knowledge that I asked it and it said it's not a part of, it's not this knowledge that you're asking me, it's not in my database. And I gave up. Why should the AI have certain knowledge which it says this knowledge is not in my database? This knowledge I am not allowed to give. Why? Who is fitting AI? Once you start asking about the devil, let's say you ask about the devil, not because you don't know anything about the devil, AI distances itself. He it says, if AI is saying, if you are now asking me about my master, I will not answer you. But you can go and ask about the butcher. It will tell you. Ask about how to uh, do farming. It will tell you anything. Very fast, within seconds. Ask about the devil. You see a message written, oops. <laughs> I'm not going there. All these are creatures that are operating technologically, physically, manually. All these systems, even some of the inventors, they come from the motor trying. This is why you realize that look at the people that are buying islands or look at the people that are buying the whole place, which are the houses, the equipments, the infrastructures. Look at the people that are well finished with the houses and mansions near the beach. Look at their lifestyle. I 
adulterers, polygamous, immoral people who represent people that are rich. It is the marine kingdom. So when you are talking about the marine kingdom, we are talking about it, the whole kingdoms of the sea in overall. But when you are talking about it, the base of the marine kingdom, we are talking about the Bermuda Triangle. Why does the Bermuda Triangle, why is it called the Triangle? Because there are three gardens that are honored by the Bermuda Triangle, which is the devil, Lucifer, and Satan. Those three. And where did the devil, Lucifer, and Satan get these three in one? They got it in heaven. God the Father and the Son, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, the comfort. Even if we remove that one, before the main devil fell, he sat on the left hand side. This is why you hear the Satanist saying they represented the left. So the devil is now standing at the at the main point of the triangle. You know the triangle has got a sharp point which is at the top. That is where the eye of the devil is. That is where the devil is standing. And Satan is on the right and Lucifer is on the left. Rather, Lucifer is on the right and Satan is on the left. That is the triangle. And inside that triangle, there are business people, there are ministries, there are politicians, there are actors, there are tiktokers, they are comedians. I, I can expose all these using the knowledge through the influence of the Holy Spirit so that you understand that even if it be a comedian, we want to know what kind of comedy are you doing, which makes people laugh. What content is inside your comedy which makes people burst into laughter? You see that what is making those people laugh it is immoral things. He sold his soul underneath so that he comes here to become popular. Even if it be movie makers, what kind of a movie is it? There's a movie that is called Fifty Shades. I didn't say go and watch it. I didn't say go and watch it. Fifty Shades. There's Fifty Shades of Grey. Fifty Shades of Dark. Fifty Shades it has got different colors. Sexual demons from Bermuda Triangle. All those movies where people are using guns, knives. We, that movie that you say now I'm watching a movie we are sitting on the edge of the sofa. Yes, you'll be enjoying it, but what are they advocating for? Violence. And they actually write, you know, under 18, no under 16. Do you know why they do that? They know that because of writing that you are, go you are going to be anxious. No. Yes. All those artists, you've got artists, I'm not going to mention them. All those celebrities, I hope you understand what I'm saying. All those inspirational people of this world who represent this earth, the people that you say these are the high profile people, the people that you call role models, the models, the fashion designers, all those people. How do we know that they belong to God? How do we know that they belong to our kingdom? We look at what they are designing. Recently, some pictures of a design. I don't know if you want to explain it. I don't even want to explain that design. Where we are going, we are where we are going, the earth is being darkened by these devils. So, Bermuda Triangle initiates artists. Bermuda Triangle initiates celebrities. Bermuda Triangle initiates high-profile people, politicians. It runs in the earth. How does it run in the earth? It sends its princes, its princesses. It sends its kings, its queens. They are delegated in the ten continents. What about 
remember to all these people that have been swallowed mysteriously. Every season, in a certain location where there is a sea, there are certain multiple death records that have been presented. The death toll continues rising. The plane that you, uh, was never found. Up to now, they don't know where that plane is. I don't know which nation it was coming from. But all those are cases that have been inspired by Bermuda Child. The submarine that wanted to go and see the Titanic ship that sinked, they never came back. They went to tour and they never came back. So they will tell us about the Titanic through those that are in here. Meaning that when they arrived there, the Titanic, the two ones said you have come at the right time. We will allow you to tour here. After you tour, you are not going back. But we have got people that are waiting there who are know. Once you come here, there's no going back. So, get this. Bermuda Triangle is not about a location in the physical. Bermuda Triangle is a realm under the sea. And under the sea, when you cross through Bermuda Triangle, you get to the underworld. When you get to the underworld, you are now going to the destination which is called the Hell and Hades. Hell and Hades is not Bermuda Triangle. The underworld is not Bermuda Triangle. But when you get to the sea, you get to the depot, you get to the headquarters, which is called Bermuda Triangle. That's where the beast comes from. All those porn actors, their souls, they are captured in Bermuda Triangle. All the prostitutes, their souls, they are caught up in Bermuda Triangle. The greedy politicians, the greedy material prosperity preachers, who are after man, they are, they are under Bermuda Triangle. But you will not find anything evil if you are the one who is being used. Do you know why? Because you are looking into the good things that you are receiving. Did you not hear the rich man what he was told by Abraham? When he said, send Lazarus to just drop water on my tongue. What was he told? He said, all his life Lazarus, he suffered evil things and you only received the good things. Meaning that the rich man was receiving good things. The good things that you are praying for. I didn't say, don't pray for me. The good things that you are praying for right now. Is there that scripture? Go and read, read it. Father Abraham says, and all his life, Lazarus received the evil things. And there was a preacher that was now trying to misinterpret and say, you see, the evil things they are talking about here is poverty. So poverty is evil. Yes, it is evil. I don't dispute. But I start disputing with you when you say all riches are, are holy. There is no scripture that Jesus ever spoke about riches, riches being glory or riches being holy. I am still looking for that scripture. He, he, he automatically disqualifies a rich person because he knows what riches do. But he knows that you, you want money to pay rent. He knows that you want money to feed your family. This is why he says seek the kingdom of God first and all these other things. Meaning that all these other things that then fall, they come according to the Father, not according to your creed of saying I am going to be a millionaire in 2024. You actually write it on your status. In 20, by 2024 next year, by 2025 next year, that's where greed starts. What if the Lord says in 2024 the whole of it will go, you are going to be poor? <laughs> so that you listen to the devil, let us say what? You see, you don't agree with that. The poor, you shall always have them. Whose wins are they? In you. In you that I know that you are going to intercede. I know that you are going to be rolling like lions. But the poor, you shall always have them. After God. You shall, not all of them. He said, the poor, you shall always have them. Why is you be rolling? 
Why used to be teleporting others? And in the midst of them, the poor shall always be there. That's the part I wanted to ask Jesus, and then he answered me through a friend voice. Why are we always going to have the poor? He, uh, he answered me in simple that question. Do you know what he said? He said, Why is it that you always have those you force to hear? Listen to your same words. Good answer. As long as we will always have people that will force to listen, to come to back to Christ, people that are going to force to do this in thing in the house of the Lord. You shouldn't be amazed why the poor will always have them. And do you know what heals the poor? The word of God. And he opened his mouth the beast from the portal of Bermuda Triangle, from the sea, and blasphemed against God to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle and them that dwell in heaven. And it was given to him to make war with the saints. It was given unto him to make war with the saints. Not with the Christians. The Christians are weak. It's not written here that you will make war with, with the Christians. It says with the saints. The sa if the Christians try this war, they will be defeated. The Christians are weak. We are the saints, not the Christians. The way the Christian belittles us. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints and to overcome them. And the power was given unto him over all kindreds and tongues and nations. Over all kindreds, tongues and nations. It means globally. The mother triangle controls. Globally. The mother triangle controls. And this beast who came out of the sea controlled the earth. And after that beast came out another beast. And I beheld in Revelation chapter 13, verse 11. And beheld another beast came out of the earth. This one that came out of the earth, it was submitting to the beast that came out of the sea. Meaning that the kingdom of the sea rules the kingdom on the dry earth. Meaning that the kingdom of the sea is in charge of the operations on the earth. This is why marine spirits are manifesting on people that are operating on the dry earth. Why are marine spirits manifesting on the people that are working on the dry earth? I was told you about this series that is called Silent, where you see a mermaid coming out of water and then it transforms into a human body. That is fiction in the movie, but in the spiritual reality, it is happening. Marine spirits, they come out of the sea and they go and enter people. This is why you can see a person here waking a tail like a mermaid. Yet that person is a human being. Why is that person working a tail like a mermaid? It's because mermaids, naturally, they are not evil. Listen to me here. Mermaids, they are creatures that are called mermaids. God created many creatures. But what happened to mermaids? They were conquered in their realm, which is called the sea. Mermaids, they, they were human Half human, half creatures. That way they, way before God separated the seas and created the dry land. And when the marine spirits, when the angels fell, they possessed the mermaids. Why? Because the mermaids were in charge of the seas. There is no other creature that you can ever think of. Be it a crocodile, be it an octopus, anything that is in the sea. All of those, they submit under mermaids. Because it is next to a human. I'm giving you the revelation. Not that when you see a mermaid, you see it's a demon. The people it's a demon. Who say the mermaid is a demon? A mermaid is just a creature, a half human creature. There are also mermaids that are male, there are mermaids that are females. But why is the mermaid now as representation? It is just the same like an owl. It was overpowered, it was dethroned, it was hijacked. That's the whole ideology about a mermaid. So if you're telling me that a mermaid is a demon, a mermaid is a physical being, it can actually come across it. You have seen even videos of mermaids. Yes. A mermaid is not a spirit. But it is a thing that is now being uh, empowered by spirits. But because it was chosen by the marine, this is why it is now mysterious. Yes, you can rarely see a mermaid. 
It's just like dinosaurs. You cannot find dinosaurs. Just like dragons. Do you think you're just going to get to a zoo? You're going to see dragons. You don't see dragons. All those creatures are creatures that Satan is now operating. Do you know that Bermuda Triangle is power over creatures? Creatures in the physical. Why do you think white people have got authority to tame an animal to behave like a human? Some things. I saw a dog that was on a skateboard. Yes. Going a long distance on a skateboard. I wanted to share that clip. Things that you can never imagine that a dog can do, a white person can train. Am I disputing that a white man is intelligent? Yes, he's intelligent, but there are things that you can actually tell that this is spiritual. Even the way that they catch venomous snakes, and they are able to tame those snakes. You try it as a black person, you see. You can be tamed. All the black people that you try to go, even the white people, without the, the, the honey that you, you black people, you go and buy in the supermarket. It's white people that gather that honey. Send a black person. Don't come back his face very fit. Yes. Sorry. All these creatures, they are spirits that are in charge of these creatures. Have you not seen a dog just barking at someone? A dog that was calm, it starts barking at someone. Until the person says, what have I done wrong? What have you done wrong? You are an enemy of the spirit inside the dog. Have you not seen robbers that rob a place that you know that these dogs, even these sniffer dogs, they don't catch everyone. You don't know that. The sniffer, they don't catch everyone. These sniffer dogs, they only catch poor people. <laughs> <laughs> and which poor people am I talking about? The less spiritual. In understanding the things of the spirit. Two minutes and you are, you are trapped down. They fall deep. Just 20 minutes after he told him something. The sniffer dog, the spirit in a sniffer dog knows that the one that stole him is my master. How many sniffer dogs have tracked him, certain people and they came with nothing? Don't be misled. Even swimming, you think you can swim like certain people? There are people that have got marine spirits. They swim underneath, and the way they swim, the way they last stand out. Have you seen people all, some people last stand out? You see that there's something else that is breathing under the water, which is not the person. You try it. After two minutes, you'll be feeling suffocated. Two minutes is even too much. And you cannot train that. And the trained dogs. Uh, that are spiritual. I'm not talking about these dogs that you give uh, Santa in order. <laughs> the dogs that have no, they that don't have taste buds. I was surprised to see a dog that was being fed with the oranges. You didn't know that dog is only eat oranges, right? Why? Because you're used to that dog that you left at home. That only eats Santa with no relish. A dog that eats dessert. Better meal than a human being. Better meal than a black person. Not a human being. Get this. Bermuda Triangle is a kingdom that controls not just the territories. It controls also creatures. Bermuda Triangle, it controls individuals here on earth, not everyone. Not those that have a seal of the Lord on their void. But those that have got the mark of the beast. Why is it called the mark of the beast? Because it is a serial court. It is a serial court. Which represents a kingdom. Authority. So when they look at you, they, look, they see the mark of the beast on your forehead. They see this one is a representative. is an agent. It's a guardian of Bermuda Jai. But he thinks that he, he lives... In, 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 in Zimbabwe, he thinks he lives in, in America, but he is one of the citizens of the other tribe. There are many signs of celebrities. I've given you that sign. I don't want to project it to the tribe because I'm going to see it today. 
as soon as we attack that place. And the other beast that was then made manifest, the other beast that was then manifest, that it too was like a lame. Yet it was not in the lame. It came in the dimension of the false prophets, false preachers, the blasphemers of this earth. Those that are inspired by the father of lies who is the devil himself. But it submits under the first beast from Bermuda Triangle. We are now heading to the conclusion. And it's power to do inside many miracles in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on earth, that they should make an image to the beast, which had the wound by a sword and did live. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause as many as who do not worship the image of the beast should be killed, like us. Those that don't want to worship the image, a death sentence has already been issued. And the cause the all, both small and great, rich and poor, to receive a mark in their right hand and on their foreheads. These marks, they are not physical, they are spiritual. So many times when I'm praying for people, you just see demons scratching here on the forehead. But there is no sign you're seeing in the physical. All these people that, that are in the world, that have not given their lives genuinely to Christ, they have got marks. The moment they come here, we pray for them. We are able to remove those marks. But those marks, they are called the serial codes that locate you from Bermuda Triangle. Bermuda Triangle is like a breaker. Do you know a breaker? When you, if you're an electrician, there's a breaker in every house. The, the, the control station, the heart, if it's, if it's a human being reference, it's like a heart that is pumping like this to other avenues, be it the earth, be it in the underworld, be it in the, the, the realms. In the realms of the firmament, Bermuda Triangle has got influences. We are going to send the other disciples. It's not every disciple that you are going to send under you know. We are going to send others in the air. Why? Because the realms of the sea, they are not underneath only. They are also in the air. There are realms of seas in the air. The sea is not water. That is something that I need to remove from your head. Whenever we talk about the sea, you think we are talking about water. The sea is a realm. The water is a platform. Just like if you dilute water, it's no longer water, it's now a drink. Which you can actually give a name. Why? Because water is shapeless, water is colorless, it is nameless. It can only be defined because of the platform that you have given it. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that has got the mark or the name of the beast. We are arriving to that destination where people are going to be like robotic machines. Like I said, the Bermuda Triangle is unleashed inventors, inventors of evil things. I remember I delivered the session that I conducted in the house of prayer. I was praying for a disciple, and there was a manifestation of a demon that says, that said, Twitter is now taking off. I don't want to talk about that, I know. This whole presentation is going to be on YouTube. So you need to protect the same. It's necessary sometimes. Because you know this evil. You know how some initiations they are going to come through social media. These things that you are complaining about, that they are posting notice, you haven't seen anything. I'm telling you, these kids that are going up, we need to pray for them. I'm telling you. Because they are going to be watching pornography on social media. I'm telling you. Gone will be the days whereby you know that there are actually websites or secret codes or you need an address for you to get to that content. I'm telling you where we are going is going to be posted. I posted a picture of a guy who was completely nude. I was just putting something. Hmm. Hope it didn't disturb the females. <laughs> some of them some of them that are still struggling last they got an opportunity to view under the uh, 
the, the coverage of the name. Uh, they were free to, to even zoom and say it is the name later who posted. Oh, so, there are inventions that are being brought in. When you look at these inventions, the iPhones, even cars, things, they are very beautiful, these inventions. But if you look at it, the way that they operate, the monopoly behind some of these gadgets, some of these machines, you see that they are not saving the one that is the almighty over everything. Who knew when a mobile phone was created, even when these apps were created, we thought it is just a matter of communicating. Who knew that it will end up inflating? Who knew that it will end up with the others abusing that technology? That is the operations of Bermuda China. All these people that are inventing, they are indeed gifted by God to invent, but they are hijacked by Bermuda China. Let's stand up. There are three realms that I've been shown when I was preaching. And we are going to enter those three realms. Three, realm, three realms, three portals to reach the triangle. And the three realms going upwards. Three realms underneath the three realms out. There's, there are two portals like this. Do you see this? The, the upper portal and the lower portal. And this space within. It's a force. Anything that passes by which is not strong is swallowed. So, we're going to get into a little bit of intercession because we've been interceding, especially myself, all night, interceding before this service. And as I'll be interceding through the mysterious language, I'm going to be summoning certain generals certain beings that represent mysteries and revelations, the angel that represents mysteries and revelations, the seven realms beings that represent this ministry. And I'm also going to summon my mentor before engaging into this war. Are you ready? Yes. Can you get into a crazy two minutes intercession? Two minutes crazy. Let's Blast it. Praise Thank you. 